There are many things your favorite retailer won't tell you, like the global impact of making clothes or how much employee theft affects them. If this is your first time visiting us, click the red subscribe button to see more videos like this. Today, we are discussing 10 things you didn't know about the retail industry. Global Effects there are several countries all over the world that rely on the clothing industry for exports and their economy. 88% of Hades, 79% of Bangladesh's, 52% of Cambodia's, and 43% of Sri Lanka's exports depend on the clothing industry. Not only that, but the amount of land it takes to graze animals, grow cotton, and the transportation it takes to transport clothes is staggering. It takes 1,083 gallons of water to support everything needed to make one cotton shirt. The good news is, consumers are becoming more aware of their global impact and are moving towards clothes that are more sustainable. Outlet Stores Many people think they are getting a great discount by shopping at outlet stores, but that may not be the case. Big labels have figured out a way to make less quality products and sell them to the masses through their outlet stores. 90% of the merchandise you see in the outlets are direct from the manufacturer and aren't the same quality as the products in the department stores. The purses you find at the coach outlets are less sturdy, not the same stitching, and are harder leather than the ones at the department stores. If you want a good deal, wait for the sale at the department store and steer clear of outlet stores. Discarded Clothes With Americans buying five times as many clothes as they did 30 years ago, it's no wonder landfills are filling up with discarded clothes. Americans throw away 10.5 million tons of clothes a year. Out of this, Americans only recycle or donate 15% of their clothes per year, which makes textiles one of the lowest rates of recycling of reusable materials. While a large portion of donated or recycled clothing does get worn, most of the clothes end up being reformed into things like insulation or carpet. Padding. Though there have been strides at trying to decrease the number of clothes that end up in landfills, convince is still a factor to why people toss out their old fashions. Trends cost more It's probably no surprise that you're paying more to stay trendy. The truth is, manufacturers will find ways to cut costs on clothes and then promote them to consumers as trends. Since the item is trendy, the consumers will pay more for the item, even if the quality is low. It is cheaper to dye jeans instead of make them acid wash, and it's cheaper to use thinner grade of cotton used to make skinny jeans or jeggings. Think about that the next time you're shopping the latest trends. Surprises in the dressing rooms there have been interesting dressing room stories from retail workers throughout the years. From frisky couples to children locking themselves in changing rooms, there is never a shortage of amusement. But nothing can really prepare a retail worker for a customer who uses the dressing room as their bathroom. Surprisingly, it happens more often than you would think. There is a good chance that the changing room you're using to try on clothes has been used as a bathroom stall at one time or another. Working Conditions The Western world has seemed to turn a blind eye when it comes to working conditions of the people who make their clothes. Large companies target women as employees for their factories in poor countries. The women take the jobs in hopes of having independence with their new income, but usually they never achieve this. The wages are so low that women have to work tireless hours and the conditions are even worse. There are even cases of unreported sexual harassment and intimidation from male superiors. Employers also discriminate against pregnant women by not giving them time off for doctor's visits and many women have had miscarriages at work. Beware of designer exclusives Much like outlet stores, people should beware of designer exclusives. Usually when someone buys these brands, they're expecting them to be the same quality as the brand sold by the designer in high-end stores. Having designer exclusives is another way manufacturers trick consumers into buying cheap products for a larger price. The brand name and recognition from the exclusive gives the illusion of quality without the actual manufacturing of it. Unworn clothes have you ever wondered what happens with all the unworn clothing that stores can't sell? In 2010, retail stores H&M and Walmart came into hot water for destroying clothes that they were unable to sell. They soon cleaned up their act and started donating all unworn clothing to charity. Sadly, this instance isn't the only story of a company destroying perfectly fine clothing instead of donating them. It is now the majority standard for retailers to donate unworn clothes to charity or recycle the items. Employee theft from stealing from the registers to taking items from the store, retailers are hit pretty hard when it comes to employee theft. 
It's not just low-level employees that these stores have to worry about. Managers and supervisors have the access to steal from places like Walmart, Target, and Kmart daily, and it can cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars from just one store. Employee theft is so bad that loss prevention specialists spend more time watching employees than they do customers. Most of the time, the thieves don't face jail time, but they do lose their jobs. The Truth About Sales With Black Friday being one of the largest shopping events of the year, many people wonder if they are actually saving from these one-day sales. On large sale days, retailers will place a price on items with a was price next to it, making it seem as though the customer is getting a really good deal. The problem with this is most of the retailers are using older prices than they should, in order to make it seem like a great discount. Another trick retailers use is making consumers think that the sale is only one day. Most of the time, items will still be the same price or lower in the days or weeks after the sale. So, if you aren't one for the badness that comes with crazy sales, it's best to stay home and away from the crowds. Are you surprised by any of these things about the retail industry? React in the comment section below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up!